Hey guys, Jordan here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be reviewing this Lego set. So in this Lego set, you're offered with a train, some tracks, and a station. I'll personally only be going over the train and my thoughts about it. So right off the bat, what it gives you is actually a bunch of instructions. Specifically, if I can get them. Specifically, it'll give you these. These. That's just their train lineup, or their city lineup. And then these. So yeah, definitely a lot of instructions. It's worthwhile. It's ranked 6 through 12, so the building techniques aren't too complicated. Now I'm back off to our main review. So in this set, you're given three train cars, two of these magnificent cab cars, right as I'm showing on the screen, and then one of these. So first off, in our cab car, very nice exterior. Um, when you pull off this, it gives you four seats. Then a little bit of area for the driver, which I'll just show on this car. It's not supposed to come off like that, but something like that will happen. Okay, that's all for that car, pretty much. In the middle car, again, the same setup with the it coming off. Four seats again, but if you can kind of see in there, it gives you some room for a bike. Those are what our those blue lines are for. Again, very nice design. The only thing that I do not like about this is how, as you can see, there's those holes right there. And then our last car, there is no space because, as you can see, if you can see, focus, focus, this is all filled up by the battery box and the engine, but what I can show you is the motor, so to turn it on, just push this, and I'll display green light, and then it gives you two, chan it's a eight channel, rem or four channel remote that can control eight trains at a time, if you twist it, you can see that they're turning, those wheels, and then you push the right button to stop, you can turn both ways, stop 8 speeds as set on the box, awfully good, now if you get the add-on, I'd like to call it an add-on, um, it's the battery box, the motor, and then the switch, and the switch, and then the lights, then what you can kind of do is you can kind of add in some lights there. I personally don't like the design of how they're put in, but it works, it works, it, it gets the job done. Out of every LEGO City train set that I've seen on YouTube and own, um, I'd rate this at around an 8 out of 10. It's definitely okay. Um, it definitely does its job. And, yeah, that's pretty much all. Thanks again for watching. I hope you find this review, um, this review helpful. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It'll give you kind of an overview of this set. Definitely a great set. Great set. Not the best Lego City set. I'd personally not recommend. I dropped something. Yeah, in the back of the box, it gives you this. Power functions included. So yeah. Peace, guys. Hope you enjoyed.